Fire Maximizer by United Plugins is pretty much a one stop and limiter and level maximizer. And although loudness wars, at least for streaming platforms, are pretty much over, plugins like this are still much of value from a style and sound perspective. Fire Maximizer offers a few tools for that. And those are a clipper, a limiter, saturation, and multiband processing. And these are controlled with something which has been a trend for a while now with plugins. That is to use an XY pad to blend between settings. I recall the Dear Reality Exoverb and Newfangled Audio Invigorate having this off the most recent reviews I did. We'll get more into each of these loudness maximizer tools in a sec. Before doing anything with maximizing, use drive to bring up the initial gain. If you bring it up too much, you'll get distortion. Turning up clean will reduce distortion and also reduce loudness to an extent. And the look ahead function is nice to have. It can look up to 10 milliseconds, which lets the plugin perform its limiting better. You can see this also adds up to the latency of the plugin logically. You set the ceiling here, which is always important. For any mastering purposes, set it lower than zero. Minus one decibel is often required for streaming platforms and even minus two decibels for very loud masters. This is to combat true peak and this limiter is not a true peak limiter, unfortunately. The output is just displayed in decibels. I really want to see loves in 2023 because, you know, that's the standard for loudness for a few years now. Now on to the four tools for loudness. Clipping and limiting both are intended to reduce peaks. Limiting uses extreme compression ratios. And clipping chops off the head of transients. These two sound very different. It's good to have both in this maximizer. In combination with the clean dial, you can hear some of the typical pump of limiting better. Multiband uses an unspecified number of bands and can actually squeeze more life out of your mix than the limiter with less distortion. Again, if you combine it with the clean dial, it will have an effect on the sound, not necessarily for the better. Multiband on its most extreme setting will affect the high end of your audio with what looks like a 12 decibel shelf centered at 12 kHz. Which looks dramatic in Plugin Doctor, but is really more of a gradual taming of high frequencies and will add some smoothness. Now, saturation obviously introduces distortion if pushed. And if used more gently, it can really add thickness to the mix. The four tools all sound different. And the XY pad lets you dial in different blends between the four so you can play around and hear what sounds best. Look ahead will affect on how loud you can get. And so does clean. 
This Lemonade can push really loud. I'm at minus 7 loves right now, which is squashed. Minus 10 ish sounds better. There's a difference in the high frequencies with oversampling. Oversampling will add a bit of high shelf boost. If you use a very aggressive saturation and drive, you will hear that oversampling sounds a tad more aggressive than the high frequencies. You hear it on hi hats here in this noisy Skrillex knockoff track. The question is if you want to use this amount of saturation in drive. In more subtle drive settings with saturation there's still this difference. Only less. I encountered a bug in the plugin which is that the hitbox for the oversampling buttons are off. Where these buttons switch don't line up with the graphics of these buttons. For a limiter which adds a loudness and saturation but is a true pick limiter, check out the one in the video display on screen linked in the description below. And don't forget to subscribe.